All right, I'm watching Terrell Fixes All on my big screen TV. 70 inch big screen. Okay, that's a 24. All right, I have sanded and sanded and sanded, and I think we can go and buff. Oh, wait a minute, there's a scratch I didn't see. All right, I'm almost done, almost done sanding and sanding. So, uh, I'm not going to do any more on the back. And the reason is I don't want to bring this brass down because that brass and the steel in the middle of it are mushroomed out to hold each other. You know, the, the pommel is what holds this on. So uh, I don't want to have to rehammer that. So I'm just going to buff it and uh, hope it looks good. I've sanded as much as I'm going to sand there. And now, where was that scratch again? Right there. All right, I will sand that out and then we go buff. Got two of them there. All right, because I'm having some breathing issues, which are only gonna get worse as I get older, I'm gonna try and not damage my lungs any further. Maybe some of y'all don't know this, but uh, 2015, I was in an industrial accident, and uh, as a result of it, 40% of my lung capacity was just burned flat out from inhaling a, a chemical that, anyway. So that's a lot of the reason that I breathe so heavy when I do the slightest bit of exertion. And uh, another reason is because I'm fat. This is a whole lot of body to move around with 40% less lung capacity. So here we go. I'm going to put my hat on and my mask. And uh, we will go and buff. See you in about uh, maybe an hour. Who knows? Okay. I almost don't want to show you this. I'm just so amazed. And I know it sounds unhumble or, uh, you know, braggadocio, but I'm not. I'm just amazed that a knife that was so far gone with the right tools and, uh, you know, the right kind of sandpaper. I mean, it's not all me anybody could actually do this with the right tools so this is what we got did you ever think a knife that was in that kind of shape could look like this now i didn't like i said i didn't sand all the scratches out in the top i'm just gonna have to live with that but uh all all the scratches on the side are out the leather looks renewed The finger guard, I got all the scratches out of that. Well, actually, there's some right up here, but I didn't go crazy sanding because I didn't want to dig into the, the plastic too much. But considering where I started and where I'm at, I'm just amazed. And all the black came out. Let's, let's zoom me in here. All the black came out. So this is a W36, by the way. And I have the same kind of uh, handle as that. It's called the trumpet pommel. And it's uh, kind of specific to Western. And I'm thinking, now this leather is not in good shape. This is the... This is the hatchet that I soaked in niche foot oil for like a week, uh, at least three or four days, and it did nothing. I thought it might expand the wood. So what I'm thinking of doing is cutting all this out and putting some nice walnut on there. Now, it won't look like this, but uh, it'll look dark. I have a lot of walnut, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I haven't decided yet. That's why I've put this off so long, because uh, I know that I can make this look as shiny as that. Everything, even the axe head. Just, it's just a matter of elbow grease and sandpaper. And has this got a model number? Sometimes they put the model numbers on the tang. 
I mean, uh, on the finger guard. So, I do not see a model number. Maybe if uh, I got a magnifying glass, my I'm at the maximum Walmart cheap eyeglass, you know, three and a half is all that is as high as they go. And uh, they're at their limit. So my next move into uh, reading glasses will have to be from an optometrist. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sit here, pet my dog, ogle my knife a little bit. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. That is a, a really, I'm a, that's, a, that's an accomplishment I'm very proud of. Okay, I'll stop bragging. We'll see you in a bit. Well, this is what I've worked two days on restoring. This is a Western W36. The blade was bent. It was covered in what I can only describe as something similar to Rhino liner. Heavily scratched and beat to hell. And uh, it basically looked like this when I got it. So that's done. I'm working on that next. Well, I just did a little Googleizing, and uh, whatever black coating was on there actually came with the knife. Uh, I'm going to roll a picture in after this, and I found on eBay, not eBay, but something similar to eBay, price point or something like that, where they sell, you know, a little bit of everything. And it said, rare black coated W36, and uh, it had a bunch of pictures. And it definitely has some sort of black coating on it. I don't know what it was for. But uh, here's a Western with a black coating on it. And this just appears to be paint. But whatever coating was on that was definitely from the factory. I thought somebody put some black coating on it to cover up what they did on the grinder. And right now what I was looking for was a better sheath. This is not the sheath that goes with that. I mean, it works, but, and it's actually a pretty good sheath. Uh, I don't know who made it. I wish I did, because uh, it uh, appears to be a very well-made sheath. I do need to re-sew it down here, and my intentions were to uh, dye this uh, a dark, clean it all up real good, move this down to here, so it will go around the handle instead of the pommel and then dye this uh, a darker brown. But uh, I may buy a sheath for this. They're not expensive. Uh, they're like 12 to 13, $14. And I can't make a sheath that cheap. I mean, it costs me more of that, just leather and dye. So uh, I'm looking, this is a five and a half inch blade. And I'm looking for a, a nice sheath. That's roughly five and a half to six inches on the blade end of it. And uh, anyway. We'll see. I'm still looking around, but I don't know if I'm going to sell this with that. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to probably clean this up real nice and put walnut on here. I don't want to go back with leather. To do that, I would have to knock these pins out, and that is next to impossible. I've seen other videos where people tried doing that, and you know, they've had to drill it out, and how do you know you're going straight, you know? Anyway, that's a whole separate project. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with this. Okay, that's it for me today. I'm going home. My wife is going to cook. Uh, it's, we're going to have bacon and biscuit lunch. Have a good Monday, y'all. Speaking of word, Julius Caesar, the Roman geezer. Who squished his wife with a lemon squeezer? And we think of him where he was killed in the floor. Sorry, some things just pop in my head, like the Gilligan's Island theme song, you know? There we go. Um, also, maritime prison where Paul was thrown into prison uh, before he's going to go.